I'm Muhammad Yusuf Ali. Welcome you all on my YouTube channel. And I hope you will enjoy uh, this channel and we will discuss about uh, different issues of library information science, uh, education and research related item. And today I am discussing about the workplace information literacy component and competency of the library professional and Paul Zorisky is the first man who introduces information literacy a workplace in the context of the library and information science and we have uh, discussed a uh, six paradigm of workplace information literacy in the context of the library and information science. Uh, number one, library and information, uh, library system and information, library system and information. Number two is information resources, different sources which is required by the library and, and searching techniques is the also one of the another competency of the library and Number four is the research support, how a librarian can provide a support to the researcher and their research work. Number fifth is information literacy competency. And number six is information personal uh, attributes and how good he is in leadership, how good he is in communication skills. So let's move on the first point library system information we will discuss about the workplace library information system in the age of the library digitalization and automation in every library use different uh, a library has automated system online automated system like koa venices genesis slim and symphony and other integrated online library information system. Some library are being used as in-house system, which is known as a library and information management system. So every library should inform, should have competency about how good he is in workplace and how good he has information about the library information, library system, which is used by his or her library which is used by which is used by his and or her library a eh? and the second is the information resources Labin has also second a eh, second workplace information competency competencies known as a uh, information resources uh, a subscription of the databases he should know how to subscribe the databases and he should also know about the uh, he or he or she also know about the open sources him uh, how to create the digital repository in the D space and other inform open source uh, work be place or selected work which is a subscribe uh, uh, source for to manage uh, for the any institutional repository know about the academic scholarly networking sites like ResearchGate like Academia like Mendeley how they manage the citation and other information and citation management workplace other information literacy he also know about the copyright literacy he should also know about the uh, available information resources what kind of uh, copyright exists either it's a, a fully open access partially open access or it is a closed or subscribed databases the third workplace is the uh, searching techniques a good librarian should also know about the information uh, searching is about the information about the search engine and he should also know about the searching from the subject databases he also know the advanced techniques of the searching like uh, how can he search from the um, how can he can how can he apply the build search build in the PubMed how can he apply the searching techniques and search engine or not uh, and and uh, boolean operator as well as to other operator nor or near about and near and 
these are the very important competency because if you searching the literature and provide a literature to your uh, user in a quick and fastest speed then you are being very appreciable the fourth is, you know, skill is the workplace is the research support a good lab in has also know about the research support facilities to its uh, research scholars you should also know about that the citation management and citation style APA MLA Chicago he should also good familiar with the citation management software and note mainly and Zitoro as well as a good lab in uh, workplace competency is also countable and the um, how to use the plagiarism software turn it in how can you generate build the classes how can you generate the P test plagiarism test and update your uh, research scholar Uh, about the plagiarism status either it's a suitable as per the hsc higher education pakistan uh, recommendation or it is a blue rate of the plagiarism or it is above the 20% or less the 20% the fifth workplace information literacy competency he should also know about he can also conduct the information literacy session he also know about the update about the online courses and workshop like which is conducted by the different institution like uh, american library association, association and american library american college research library association and he also provide the organizational support of the information literacy uh, for its user as well as the um, researcher and scholars he should also provide a competency regarding the Mm, design how to design the modern information literacy um, program and update them as per their needs of their institution like its academic medical or research library or special library needs and the last one is the personal attribute is also important for the library and for the workplace number one is the communication skill he the good librarian he or she must have a good communication skill as as the teaching training and stress instructional skill he should also uh, know about how to teach how to uh, instructional skill provided to the users as well as one to one user as well as the group and as well as conduct session from a large gathering he should also know about the pub, good in public speaking and and now how and admit the third one is the administrative skill he also know that the administrative skill as well as how can he handle the situation and the last uh, the second last uh, attribute is the marketing skill a lab in should also know about the the marketing strategy how can he bring the the patterns into the library uh, those who are outside from the library and those uh, reply the queries um, of the uh, remote uh, users if they sending the emails he also marketing he can also marketing the library you uh, lab mark, arrange different activities and bring the user inside the library like organize uh, different session and competition inside the library the last one is the leadership skill for as well as organizational theory lab in should also know about how uh, to bring he should must have a good leadership skill to uh, manage his Uh, or her staff inside the library as well as to talk with the uh, library issues or library case with the present uh, statutory bodies of the university libraries or whatsoever organization he is working in the parent organization he should also know about how to have present his case to the parent organization and get grant and what so ever required for the library he should effect or he should have a effective uh, leadership skill to run his team i hope you will enjoy this video and these six attribute of the workplace information literacy inshallah we will coming soon with the other uh, skills of the library so stay tuned my channel and watch the videos your comment suggestions uh, will be appreciated I hope you will enjoy this video. Thank you very much.